We now know how to represent fractions in a binary form, regardless of whether they have an integer component or not. However, while we can represent fractions in a binary form in this way, what we cannot do is store these binary numbers in a computer. Study these typical examples and try to explain why. How many different characters can we represent in a binary form? Look at these examples. How many different characters are needed to store these binary fractions? Did you conclude that we need three characters to store these binary fractions? A 1, a 0 and a binary point, which cannot be done using just a 1 and 0 that we use to store data in computers. And yet we know that fractions can be stored in computers. So how is it done? We have already identified one issue, that of only having two different digits to represent three characters. But there is also the issue of the position of the binary point. It isn't always in the same place in the number sequence. Always being in the same place would really help because the computer wouldn't need to store the binary point character if it knew that the number represented a fraction and that the binary point always occurred at character x in the sequence. If only there were such a way to represent a binary fraction. There is. In deanery we often represent very large or very small numbers in standard form. We can use a similar approach to binary numbers. However, to solve our second issue, we just don't move the binary point around, we specifically move it so that it, the computer will always know where it is, that is, between the first and second digit in the binary fraction sequence, a process known as normalisation, a process which also adheres to our existing practice for identifying positive and negative numbers. Now is that brilliant? Or is that brilliant? 